Cockroach. There was a boy Tim Timothy. He was seven years old, but he still went to kindergarten. One day Tim came into the bathroom late at night, looks, and a cockroach runs across the floor. He's so black and healthy, and Tim just recently watched a horror movie, in which there were cockroaches. As it is, he has never even seen cockroaches before. Tim got scared, ran to complain to mom, and she was already asleep, said in a sleepy voice okay, Kima, don't be afraid, you don't have to brush your teeth, and fell asleep again, and Tim couldn't sleep. He used to brush his teeth before going to bed. He definitely needs to do this, otherwise he won't fall asleep. Then he did this he did not turn on the light in the bathroom, and also closed his eyes. I started brushing my teeth by touch, cleans, cleans. Then something touched his foot, how he will squeal, just like a girl. Angry dad came running with a belt. He had been on duty at work for a whole day before, and now he was sleeping off. He was woken up by a scream, so he got angry at Tim. Mom grabbed dad's hand, says, wait, don't. What's wrong with you, Tim? Someone touched my leg. Who, I don't know. My eyes were closed. The bathroom light was turned on. They look, and there on the edge of the tub sits a huge black spider. The size of a palm. Even dad was scared. He took off his slipper, swung with all his might and hit the spider. The spider squeaked something plaintively before dying. We looked into the tub, and there were three fat black cockroaches running around the bottom. Tim had seen one of them before. Mom says my god. Yes. These cockroaches are the size of a mouse. She turned on the hot water, began to shower it on cockroaches. The cockroaches died. Before they died, they also squeaked something. Mom brewed Tim a soothing tea to help him fall asleep better. But Tima still couldn't sleep for a long time. He tossed and turned in his bed, remembering the big scary insects. Then I fell asleep. After a while, he was woken up by a noise, somewhere very close. A motorcycle was grilling, so it seemed to Tim. He quickly turned on the lamp and saw that this noise was made by a large black helicopter flying around the room. But then Tim looked closer and saw that it was not a helicopter, but a huge fly. Tima had a trash can in her room. It was littered with all sorts of papers, candy wrappers, chicken bones, apple cores. Here a fly got into this trash can, stopped rattling like a motorcycle. But now it was rummaging noisily in the trash. Tima cautiously called his mother on the phone. She came running, scared again. What happened? Tima pointed to the basket with his finger. Mom noticed that someone was rummaging in it, and asked is that a rat? No, a fly. Dad was called. He brought a ski pole and beat a fly to death with it. The fly sighed just like a man and stopped moving. What's next? Dad asked. Will there be an ant the size of a dog? No one knew. They went to bed again. It was good that it was Sunday. It was possible to sleep at least until the evening. So Tima slept, slept for a long time. When I woke up, it was already light light. My mother was lying next to me and smiling so affectionately. Mommy. Mommy, what are we going to have for breakfast? Tim stretched sweetly. We, baby, will eat, you. Before Tim's death, he managed to notice that mom. She's only a mom from one end, and on the other it is. A long hairy caterpillar about five meters long. The caterpillar mom wrapped around Tima. Poisonous thorns pierced his skin. It was terribly painful. Then the caterpillar mom stretched her mouth. A huge watermelon would have climbed into it now. And she ate poor Tim. No one else saw mom, dad, or Tim. Another family moved into this apartment a month later. But she also disappeared without a trace. There were no more people willing to come here. Neighbors often hear loud buzzing, rattling, hissing from this apartment. But when they enter it, it is clean and empty. In fact, it's all because of the hair. It's just that mom dyed her hair with some unusual expensive paint. The smell of this paint attracted various insects to the apartment. They found hair on the floor and ate it. Because of this paint and human hair, insects began to gradually turn into people. At first they just grew big because people are big. And then a caterpillar was born. On the one hand, just like mom, yes, they can also talk. Mosquitoes. 
One naughty girl was constantly scolded by her mother for opening the window wide open in her room. In winter and summer, the girl lied that she was hot. In fact, she liked to annoy her mom. Look, something terrible will fly into your window sometime, my mother warned. One day at the end of summer, a storm began. The wind was blowing terribly, trees were breaking, garbage cans were overturned. All kinds of garbage was flying through the air. Mom called from work and asked if her daughter had closed the window. I closed it, of course, Mom. The girl lied. She went to the kitchen to have breakfast, returns to her room. And there is a man standing there. An adult male, quite large. A medical mask is worn on the face. Jeans on his feet. A multicolored speckled t-shirt on his body. The girl's legs gave way from fear. She fell to the floor and could not get up. This can't be happening. The girl told herself, we live on the 13th floor, and the man stands and looks. The poor girl is lying on the floor and trembling. She decided that it was some kind of maniac who came to kill her. A strong wind blew through the window again. Suddenly another person flew in. It turned out to be a woman. She was dressed the same way jeans, a multicolored speckled t-shirt, a medical mask. The man and the woman took off their masks. The girl was horrified to see that they had no mouth, but five eyes, nose, and around five eyes. When the mask is on, it seems that this is a normal person. And as they took it off, it was a terrible horror. For some reason, people began to rub their noses. This is how they communicate. The girl realized. After talking, they began to look at the girl. And the girl still could not get up. Her strength left her from fear. Then the five-eyed woman began to feel sick. It was so disgusting and disgusting. The air stank terribly. Something began to come out of the woman's mouth. It was a monstrous white worm the size of a girl's hand. The worm crawled under the bed. The five-eyed ones went into another room. Judging by the sounds, the woman was also sick there. From all this nightmare, the girl lost consciousness. And when I woke up, everything was fine. Mom was at home. The window was closed. The girl was lying in bed with a warm blanket on her. Mom gave me a drink of warm tea with milk. Mom, I had such a strange dream. Nothing. You got a cold and got sick. Everything will pass soon. In the morning, Mom went to work. And the girl was left alone at home again. At first everything was fine. And then she heard some sounds under her bed. I looked. And there was a huge white bundle. And this bundle is moving. The girl ran to her mother's room to hide under the bed there. But there was also a bundle under the bed, and not one, but two. They were moving too. There was a closet in the hallway. The girl decided to hide there. But there was a bundle there too, only this time it was standing. He was moving. There was already a crack in him. And suddenly from this crack, a hand came out. The bundle disintegrated, and a man similar to the one who was yesterday got out of it. He was dressed the same way jeans, a speckled t-shirt, a medical mask. A woman came out of the girl's room. She looked closely at the man and took off the mask. The man also took off his mask. They looked at each other for a long time and attentively. When the man and the woman were convinced that they both had five eyes, they began to rub their noses against each other. A man and a woman also got out of the other two bundles. They also rubbed their noses. In short, when mom came home in the evening, about 20 nasty white maggots were already crawling around the house. Mom wasn't scared. She sprinkled salt on them. The larvae immediately dried up and turned into dust. And she just pierced men and women with a knitting needle. They burst like a balloon. I told you to close the window, mom said to her terrified daughter. See, the five-eyed men swooped in. And who are they? Yes, these are just such insects that have learned to pretend that they are people. They live only one day, that's why they multiply so quickly. Doll In the morning Nastya woke up from the ringing of the alarm clock. Today is September 1st, we have to get ready for school. At the end of the holiday, Nastya and her mother went to a cafe to celebrate a significant day. Then, the girl's mother decided to go to the store to buy her daughter a gift. They didn't stay in the store for long. The girl chose a doll. The doll was very cheap. 
and mom thought it was suspicious, but she still bought the girl doll. Nastya liked the doll very much, she played with it until late, at night, then I went to bed and threw the doll on the table. The next day Nastya could not find the doll, in any way, she got it from her mom, because she lost a doll somewhere and doesn't want to look. Nastya made excuses for putting the doll on the table, but her mother didn't even listen to her. She told Nastya to go into the room and not come out until she finds the doll. Nastya came into the room, and the doll was sitting on the table. Strange, I threw it on the table yesterday, how could I not notice it? And how did she take a sitting position? Nastya thought. She picked up the doll and ran to tell her mother that she had found the doll. Mom praised her and put her to bed. As it was already evening, at night Nastya woke up from some sound. She thought that mom went to the kitchen to drink water and drop something. But out of the corner of his eye, the child noticed movement. She turned around and saw her doll. She was bigger in size, much more. The doll approached Nastya, and the skin began to fall off from her. Nastya stood in disbelief and looked at this sight. The doll asked do you like me? Yes, I really like you. Nastya lied. You're lying, the doll said in a hissing voice and tore the girl apart. And if Nastya had told the truth, the doll would have turned back into itself and would never have turned into this again.